not happy. To be honest with you, I'm not happy. I'm not happy for the reason that I know it's awful. I know it's bad. But some people seem to think it could get better at some point. I don't know why, but I'm not one of them. The reason why I am not happy is because there's five more of this to go. That's it, really. I have five more of this to go. I'm not counting all different little tie-ins here. And there. That doesn't make any flicking sense at all. But there's five more issues of this to go. And I'm referring to Dark Crisis. Dark Crisis, we reached the number two, where they promised this big, epic confrontation between, you know, um, between the Titans and, uh, and Deathstroke and how, you know, it's going to be to totally this and they're going to have this big battle between Nightwing and Deathstroke and somebody's going to go and walk away and Slade is there, you brought, brought, brought along a whole crew and it's going to just be absolute chaos. That's what they promised. Well, we got none of that. None. Instead, what did we get? A whole lot of nothing. A whole bunch of bait and switch. That's what we get. Now, it, it starts off showing that, you know, um, what happened with um, Pariah and, you know, his um, whole world and what went, what went wrong with it. And it's not bad and showing how they get, got wiped out in the infinite world. And that's okay. Fine. Fine. We get that and talking about how, you know, a second chance to restore not, not only the life that I, that I lost, but the infinite Earth to bring it all back. Earth Zero must die. Yes, the Justice League sacrifice only delayed the inevitable. And, you know, we, we, it was, we already know, they've already said that the Justice League, who are supposed to be dead, are coming back at the end of that crisis. So you already spoiled it to begin with. And then it also the fact that you don't seem to give a crap about what you're doing. But, okay, no problem. You've pretty much set that whole thing up. Now, when we actually get into the heart of this story, Titan's tower is on the attack, right? It's on the attack, and we need to do you know what's going on. We had to see some big um, fight is happening and all of this, right? And a whole bunch of of villains are there. That's being led by um, that's being led by Deathstroke, and he's there to get get all sort of stuff. So Nightwing is fighting back, and then you know eventually he comes um, toe to toe with the man behind it all, who's Deathstroke, right? Now, let's not forget that in the last issue that I covered, they shot Beast Boy in the head. Well, Deathstroke shot Beast Boy, Beast Boy in the head, but apparently he isn't dead, he's alive, and he's going to end up with some kind of, there's some going to be left with us as scar, because apparently shooting people in the head don't kill them anymore. But that's that, that's at the end. I'm not, I'm not, well, I'm not, I'm not really spoil, you know, give him a bullet to the face and all of that. So, we get on to it now, and Deathstroke wants to have this big final fight with Nightwing. It's not really a fight at all. That couple blows are thrown, a little whap, whap, bam, 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 up here and the other, but nothing to really say it's going to actually give you some sort of epic battle that they promised. It's not. It's not. You understand me? And then after that, no. After the after the initial back and forth and Nightwing knocking down Deathstroke, basically Deathstroke says, you know, well, okay, Nightwing won the first round. Let's get ready for round two. Right? And then, you know, Nightwing is all like, well, everybody's going to die. Just, just get it over with. You can just, you can just kill me. And done. I'm not, not going to fight back anymore. You know, Okay. So that truck decides, all right, fine, I'm going to kill you. Bam, boom, bam. Up shows John Kent. This is woke Superman. I'm not going to call him Superman. Woke Superman shows up. Okay, he, he, blocks, the, he blocks the bullet. Because he's in front of him, blocks the bullet. It actually looks cool. I think he said, well, all right, we're going to get a little action here. So something going to happen. They're going to get into a little, a little back and forth, a little fight and thing. You know, John Kent is here. So something going to happen. No, we're going to get down with it. No. That's not happening. That's not happening. He shows up there, he's all, he's all, you missed. And then, you know, night, and then, you know, Nightwing is all, you've got your dad's timing, buddy. This is what I, and he's all, this is what I get for stopping by to say hi. And this looks like a job for Superman. And he starts 
you know, people are catching. So you think to yourself, well, all right, that's really interesting. No, it's not, it just keeps getting worse. Time for round two. Okay, bam, in comes Cyborg Superman. All right, this should be getting interesting. No, Cyborg Superman is there, but again, this is DC, this is Dark Crisis. You're, you're not going to, you shouldn't expect anything. I keep saying that you shouldn't expect anything. Cyborg Superman shows up. He and John Kent start fighting. It's not very interesting at all. A couple blows here, ba da da. All right, okay, we're expecting the battle to really get going now. No, no, no more fight between Deathstroke and Nightwing because all of a sudden he gets a, a message in his head telling him from a, from from, from Price that you do, do not kill the superheroes. I need them. Remember your mission. So chaos, create a crisis, bring my dark army to you. All that. And then you know, and then you know, then after that, he's just after that, so it's just basically like, okay, well, you know, you won for today. I just got a phone call, time to go. Bam, open up some portals, and they leave. That's it. That's it. That, that's the big confrontation that they promised in that, in that crisis number two. They promised. This big epic battle between the two of them. No, no, we didn't get that. Instead, we just get two little slap and tickle here. And then, you know, a phone call saying, yo, bro, time to go. Exit. Bam. Open up, open up some portals and they leave. Meanwhile, we have John Kent and Cyborg Superman going toe-to-toe -to -to in a battle nobody could kill. We could, we could literally care about whatsoever. Because, again, as I've said, John Kent is just an awful character. Right? Takes a blow to the face, some heat vision to the face also. And then he's all, um, you know, your father was willing to die to save lives. Are you? Let's find out. They crash into Titan's Tower. Because one, one of the things that, that, was, that was mentioned in this preview to it was that Titan's Tower was going to be destroyed in this battle. And that thing was going to wipe out. All the titans and all other things. This is this is what they this is what this is what they built up. This is what they they they, they gave the idea was going to happen. And none of that happens. Instead, crashes into Titan's tower. You know, basically leveling it. You know, and then you see John Kent lying there, thing and um, Cyborg Superman is all that. And then we have Cyborg show up, but I'm not entirely sure. What the hell is going on with Cyborg showing up there? Because in Teen Titans Academy, or Titans Academy, whatever the hell they want to call it, that god awful thing that ended, apparently Cyborg and Beast Boy are now merged together into one that's, that, that, that's very creepy, yes. And Raven has some kind of, put up some kind of illusion that, that, that you get to see them as separate people or something like that. So... I don't know if this, if this is before that happens, after that happens, what the hell is going on? Nobody really knows. Nobody really knows. Honestly. But yeah, basically, John Kent destroys the, 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 the entire Titan's Tower. You know, the school. You know, maybe it's because they didn't want him in Titan some years ago. Nobody knows, nobody freaking cares. But that's one possibility. And that's the end of the whole big battle. And then all of them is all crying, all kind of nonsense. And I don't even freaking know. It's just nonsense. Like I say, Beast Boy got shot in the face, but he's still alive. And then at the end of it now, bam, Black Adam shows up. You understand me? Black Adam shows up now. And he's all about how, you know, he was right that uh, John Kent could not, could not create a Justice League and, and lead them. Well, he's right about that. Can't do it. And also about how he was wrong about Nightwing. Deathstroke may have led this attack, but the blame for this tragedy falls at your feet. And then John Kent comes in there to, to, to whine like a little girl. Like, you know, where were you, Black Adam? Huh? If you're so great, why don't you lead a new Justice League and go after Deathstroke? And then he's all, that, 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 that is exactly my intent. Deathstroke's forces laid siege to my home as well. These attacks are worldwide. And so basically... He wants to create his own Justice League. Why would anybody want to join Black Adam's Justice League? Explain that to me. The man was a, a villain not too long ago. You see, this, this is what I keep talking about when it comes to DC. How they have no freaking clue what they're doing. I'll get into that in a little bit. Pretty much, 
the, 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 the basis of it and, and all of this. And then we get to see something going on in space and, you know, apparently Kyle Rayner was a prisoner and he now escaped, something like that. And then the, the, the Green Lantern core shows up and they let him, well, well um, you know, um, you know, Hal Jordan lets him in on what's happened about the Justice League being dead. Wally West and the speedsters are off somewhere. And all sorts of madness is going on. And that the, the entire Green Lantern Corps is going to attack, you know, the, 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 the um, pariah and the rest of the Green Lantern. Kind of thing. But this, as I say, makes no sense because the majority, majority of these people are not even Green Lanterns anymore. They've destroyed the, the, the Lantern power battery. I think Jessica Cruz is now a yellow lantern. Simon Bassett, I don't even think he is a lantern anymore. John Stewart is something. Kyle Rayner is something else too. I, I don't even know what's, what's going on anymore. I'll tell you how just messed up this whole thing is. But it brings together a bigger point of what I've been saying. DC doesn't know what the hell they're doing with this dark crisis. It's, it's tell you one thing, do a beta and switch on, on another. Put together people nobody's interested in. Nobody wants to nobody wants to see Black Adam make a, a, a Justice League of his own. Who the hell is going to join? Why, why would anybody care? This is what happens when you don't build up proper characters for anything. This is all leading up, by the way. All leading up to the JLQ, which is the Justice League Quest, supposed to come in and save the day, even though nobody gives a shit about them. Nobody wants this nonsense. Nobody. What people want are to see proper storytelling, good heroes. You pretty much destroy the Lantern Corps. You want to come in now and say, well, okay, we're going, and, we're going and just have them go up against the, um, the, the Great Darkness or whatever, where they're all going to lose and pro probably get killed or something like that. Just to, just so, the, the only one who's going to survive is Jojo Mullins, another character nobody gives a shit about, but let's do that. You did not build this up properly at all. You didn't. You didn't build up properly at all. The person who was crossed up the lead, they should have been Nightwing. Had you built up John Ken over a period of time, develop him as a character, give him his own, have him, have him be a part of a team, and then probably lead his own team. Again, I say, he didn't even need to be Superman. He could have been his own character. No, let's, let's just bring him in, game up, and say, well, okay, that's going to make everything okay. That's, that's the best thing we could do. Once again, that crisis number two, another shit show of a, of a comic. Bait and switch along the way. Promise this big epic battle between Nightwing and... Um, and Slade, we got nothing of that. We got, we got a little slap and tickle here and there, nothing else. We got the, the, the promise this big battle between Cyborg, Superman, and, and John Ken Superman. Nothing to talk about. Let's have a couple punches thrown. John Ken bleeding more than anything. You didn't, you didn't develop this character at all to do anything. That's a waste, that's all. The rest of the, the, rest of the book, total lunacy. Nobody wants to see Black Adam leading, leading anything. It's going to fail, we know that. The Green Lantern Corps, well, they pretty much destroyed them already in their own series. Now you're bringing them into Dark Crisis. Uh, again, this has to be before that happens. So we don't know what the hell is going on because the majority, majority of them are not even Lanterns anymore. And you just continue to do this shit and act like everybody's supposed to be happy with it. Not too bad for all because it's going to, they're going to fail the same time when the first one, first, first one failed. Again, as I said, this is why I am angry because there are five more issues of this garbage to go. All the way down to December. Eh. Uh, well, that's it for Dark Crisis number two. Another, another waste, in my opinion. Another total, another, another waste. Let me know in the comments what you think. You have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already ring the notification bell be notified every time i put out a new video and i shall see you all next time take care